to access ASFA, first log on to the University Portal, then from the Resources tab, choose the A to Z list of online resources, and then select ASFA from the alphabetical listing. I'm going to search for information on the effects of pollution on the species Atlantic salmon. So I select the thesaurus. There's a list of thesauruses here. The first one is the ASFA thesaurus and it's for subjects. The second one's not relevant for us, but the taxonomic terms thesaurus is for searching for species names. We're looking for a subject, so I'm going to start by selecting the first thesaurus, the subject one. I'm going to search for pollution. So I'm searching the thesaurus for any term that contains the word pollution and click on find. So here are all the thesaurus terms with pollution in them. And you can see there's one here, aquatic pollution. Now since I'm looking for stuff to do with fish, it makes sense that I'm interested in aquatic pollution. So I'm going to select that link. And you can see at the top here, the thesaurus is guiding you in your search. It's saying water pollution. You should use that term if you're interested in aquatic pollution. If you click on the little yellow square next to the water pollution, this gives you related terms which you might consider searching. So these are other terms related to water pollution that are in the thesaurus. So if you wanted to search any of these, you could just tick these and they'd also be added to your search. I'll just close that notes box. I'm going to tick the water pollution option. When I tick that, you see that the explode option here is also ticked. Explode sounds very exciting. What it means is that all the narrower terms within water pollution, so brackish water pollution and so on. The explode option means that all those narrower terms will automatically be included in my search along with water pollution. I select water pollution, explode and add to my search. You can see the terms from the thesaurus have been moved to the search form. There's the water pollution term and then all those narrower terms because I chose the explode option in the thesaurus. I'm going to continue searching. I want to look for the second idea which is salmon. Again I choose the thesaurus but you'll remember when I searched before, I was searching in the subjects thesaurus, so I need to change that. So I choose the Select Another Thesaurus link from the top and choose instead the taxonomic terms. And I use that for species names and I need to use the Latin terms. I'm looking for salmon, so the Latin species name is Salmo Salar. And click on Find. There's Salmo Salar in the list. If I click on the little yellow notes box, it says use term for Atlantic salmon. So that's the correct term for me to use. Tick the little box next to Salmo Sailor and click on the add to search button at the foot. And you see it's added it to my search form. So now I'm searching for the water pollution idea and the salmon idea and click on search. And now I've found 27 results. So because I use the thesaurus for my search, the results that I've found will have those thesaurus terms as the main topic of the article. They won't be just brief mentions as can sometimes happen when you've done a keyword search. Using the thesaurus increases the relevance of the results that you find.